What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. So we'll be talking about what you see in the thumbnail. Scream 6 without Sidney Prescott. Now the short answer to the question of whether or not it could work is yes. This could work because you would need to have a well-rounded script with great characters, with a great narrative, with a great a great killer reveal, uh, great motivation of course. Doesn't have to be great like oh my gosh wow just something that's effective to still get your audience invested in the narrative without sydney being present this is something that i think they've done a great job at making making possible for themselves by giving us a great set of characters in scream 5 while tara's friends might not have been the might not have been as developed as i thought they would have been when they were on screen they all still got to highlight their own personal traits make themselves stand out and they were all characters that i feel a lot of people were growing fan showing favoritism towards in the sense that i want to see more of these people if they come back for more which with chad and mindy who seem of course at this point seem to be the only ones out of Terrence's friend group coming back along with her own sister I think you have a chance to explore them a bit more since people already find them likable. Not everyone likes um, Mindy. I can't admit that. I've seen some people not not like that character, and that's 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 you for whatever reason. But go off. The other thing you could do is again introduce new characters like they always do, and just spend time with Tara and her life in college, her friends, their trauma from Screen Five, and now this this new ghost face that's going to be out there. And you can introduce Gail Weathers in a way by having them go to school in new york this would be an easy easy way to just have them go to gail for help sam isn't going to get involved gail gets involved of course not only because she wants to help them but because of her own career benefits since she'll get a chance to cover this story for her show and this would just be a way for her to have some conversations on her show of course talking about the things she's probably talked about already about the fact that she's helped survive or, or helped solve rather five ghostface killing sprees now there's a sixth one you know it's just something that gail could of course benefit from as well but mostly this could be someone who just wants to genuinely help these people uh, we could learn more about Gail, see a little bit more of how her life has been. Uh, we could learn if she's wrote in that, written that book about Dewey and kind of give her a focus the same way Dewey was a focus in five. And then there could even be a bit of a bit of dialogue in the film where it's disclosed that Sydney is not in town. Actually, she's she could be out of town. She could be on vacation uh, and she's just not available to come come out here and help us. They don't even bother. To, they don't even bother to uh reach out to her at that point gail could be the one to shoot that idea down no don't bother sydney she's she's out of town with her husband they went on vacation with the kids we we don't need to bother sydney and what i think you could also do is explore this through a killer in a post mask reveal where they're explaining to the fact that they intentionally themselves waited for sydney to not be able to come help because they could be someone who idolizes sydney they think she's the ultimate final girl because they themselves are a stab fan <laughs> they're a fan of the real life individual from that character they love from the stab films and they just don't think that sydney deserves to be harmed in any way shape or form they think her they think her narrative is done and they want to protect her as a final girl they don't want to kill off the best final girl that ever exists to them that could just be one killer this won't be their motive but i think it could just be a bit of a bit of humor to kind of sh kind of shove in there while also poking fun at the fact that you guys didn't bring Nev Campbell back for the first ever Scream movie, but you have a killer mouthing to your audience why it might have been best for business and kind of selling you on why she's not here. This killer thinks she's the ultimate final girl. They think her story is done. They think she deserves some peace in her life and they would never want to take Sydney out. But they got some problems with sam they don't have problems with sydney but they got problems with sam and tara and whoever else is their accomplices would probably not be as big of a sydney fan as they are so they purposely could have gone out of the way to stalk sydney before before they launched this new ghost fist killing spree and they were trying to just figure out okay well how can i how can i get this going without getting sydney involved because I don't want to hurt Sydney, but I know that if I do start this, one of her friends are inevitably going to reach out to her and cause her to come here. And I don't want to hurt Sydney. I think she's the ultimate final girl. This could just be something from one of the ghost fist killers that are involved with it this time around. But they don't want to hurt Sydney. And they purposely went out of the way to wait for her to go out of town because they stalked her. They waited to learn when she would be out of town. And then they launched the killing spree. Um, 
But yeah, giving us well-rounded characters, exploring that friend dynamic between Tara, Chad, and Minnie a bit more, because there's already people who like them, exploring the new characters, all of that stuff would be something I think could make a Scream 6 without Sidney Prescott work. Uh, I'm not saying Sidney wouldn't necessarily not appear in it, because like I, like you see in the thumbnail, what if she appears in the very, very, very last scene to set up a Scream 7? And I'll get to that in a second. Um, when considering Kevin's original ideas for five and six, when he was going to do them, Sydney wasn't going to be involved in them or even more so she wasn't going to be the focus once again, which we ended up getting in screen five, a movie where Sydney wasn't the focus. And I think Kevin's original idea for six was sounding like it was going to be about Gail Weathers. So if they do a more Gail centric narrative here, they would kind of be following the template of what Kevin originally was going to do anyway, while, while it's not his idea all the way since he didn't get to flesh those out uh sydney's sydney's lack of involvement and lack of being the focus was showing signs of that from her positioning in four where they were trying to shift the narrative from her already beginning there uh there was already things that kevin wanted to do as it pertains to taking the narrative away from her we know uh, ultimately he did not finish finish they did not finish filming the movie with his version they had i think aaron Kruger come in and finish it up and then they shot whatever they shot and we got still a a, a solid movie overall but with scream six sydney could still appear at the end you could have the ghostface killing spree get wrapped solved bada bing bada boom sydney never showed up for that but sydney comes back in town and we could have a scene that flashes over to her coming back in town, entering her house with with uh, Patrick Dempsey's character of Mark. That'll be his cameo, plus Sydney's cameo. They go inside. The kids are going inside. And we see from behind them, as the door is closing, uh, there's a killer outside. Or at least not even a killer. Someone is standing there watching, watching them. But we don't see who it is. The movie just ends. All, we don't see if it's a man or a woman even. We just see someone standing there and then the movie shuts off. I don't know how many people will feel about that, but it's setting up the seventh movie. Let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and miss a video in the description. I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.